Hi guys, welcome to another video and another match day vlog where I'm going to take you on the road with me up to an away game. Sorry for the shaky camera, I forgot to record anything any earlier, so I'm about to walk out the door, probably half an hour later than I should be leaving. Um, I'm heading up to Yorkshire today to shoot EFL League 2, Doncaster Rovers versus Tramia. I'll see you up at the ground. So I've arrived at the ground, the drive was nice and easy up here, a couple of hours just over I think, so um, fairly straightforward as it goes. Now Doncaster Stadium is fairly new in the grand schemes of English football, I say fairly new, it's probably 20, 25 years old, but the benefit of it being fairly new is it's built out of town, um, kind of by industrial estates, shopping parks, and it's got three car parks, so as media I've been allocated car park three. Uh, which is fine, so I'm parked up in here now, loads of room, um, and this will allow me to get my gear out of the boot, and uh, I make my way to the stadium, I'll, I'll pan round and I stand up out of the car in a minute so you can see how far from the stadium I am, I just, I haven't actually shot at this ground before, I have been here once, probably uh, 15, 20 years ago, um, I've never photographed here, so what I need to do is I need to go into the um, the IPBS app, which is what the Football League use for accreditation, and see if there's any notes in regard to where I enter the stadium. Some grounds include it, some don't. If not, I'll make my way up there. Being a fairly new stadium, as I said, it should be kind of fairly easily or clearly signposted, like media entrance. So um, it shouldn't be too difficult, but uh, we'll take a look when I get in there. The weather looks good, a bit cold, but but dry. Um, this time of the year, I never trust the weather, though, so I am going to put all my waterproofs on. I shot a game last week. Um, the weather forecast said 8% chance of rain or 8% coverage in the area, whatever that percentage stands for. Uh, and it was absolutely hammering down from the first minute to the last. It was horrible. Um, so I'm going to put my overalls on right now. So all ready to go. I've got my uh, my gear down here. So I'm going to take my, uh, my laptop tent with me just because... I say I don't trust the weather forecast one bit. I'm going to make my way over to the ground and hopefully show you a little bit about how we get in. So I'll see you shortly. The um. The notes I received with my accreditation didn't actually say where the entrance was, but I'm going to use powers of illumination. It said, you see, beyond my wobbly camera work, that there's a reception over there. So it seems like the obvious place to start to see if that's where we get in.
ਕਰਕੇ ਲਈ Okay, so that game finished 2-1 to Doncaster, hugely disappointing. Um, personally, obviously the team I uh, I shoot for and actually support um, came out on the wrong side today. So they went 1-0 down, home team took the lead early in the second half, first half, early in the first half. Um, Tramway had more than enough opportunities or openings, I wouldn't say they created great chances, they didn't kind of get the end of them. So photo-wise, first half, got quite a lot of action, say action, uh, using the term a bit loosely. But kind of close up to me in the in the corner um, on the left side. Second half, um, firstly, apologies, I got no footage of the second half. It was uh, a little bit busy and, and cramped, even though there's a lot of space, or it looks a lot of space, what you can't see behind me on the photo um, I shared here of that little gully um, or the channel of, of tarmac pathway where I can sit. Um, I had someone immediately to my left, and then there's a line of stewards behind as well. So actually, there wasn't that much room um, to set a camera up. And also, always, uh, if you're in front of... Um, and away end, if the team score and, and celebrate, fans can rush forward. So I didn't want to risk knocking my phone uh, if it was recording video. Tramia did equalise uh, maybe 15 minutes into the second half. There, they're about a great goal. Uh, got some really nice shots for it made up uh, with the celebration photos. The, the lad ran straight to me um, to celebrate. Got some lovely shots of that. Stewards, as they tend to in English football, get, get in the way. Kind of um, going over the top and, and what they think they need to do. Uh, considering how far away the fans are from from the pitch, certainly this stadium, so I did get some stewards in the uh, in the photos, but I did get some nice photos of the celebration. From there, I thought Tramia would go on and win the game. Um, lots of photos attacking wise, but shortly after the equaliser, Doncaster scored again and, and went back to one up, uh, which is really really disappointing. Again, Tramia came back, had a great chance, hit the post, um, had a few other great opportunities, and uh, certainly got lots of photos of. Of build up play and wing play as well, but nothing really um, to write home about. No equaliser then, so they did lose the game. That makes it really frustrating because those great celebration shots to get uh, or managed to get um, kind of feel a little bit not pointless, but you know, if you're shooting for even an agency and the celebration shots you got from a losing team, um, it takes some shine off because they're not going to be that usable. And, and while the shots I did get will be used um, by the club, it's not as uh, not as much uh, if they'd at least drawn the game, let alone won it. So I'm going to get on the road and head back. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments if this video is something you enjoy and I think you think I should do more of. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again soon.